out of the corner of my eye. I thought you were making some totally goobery face. I but was. Then, oh, were you? Yeah, I was okay. going like... Hey guys, Cameron and Yoko here at Funko HQ and today we're gonna to be unboxing the Droids box from Smuggler's Bounty. Got a little R2 on the cover I right like there. R2. Who doesn't like R2? I like droids. Love a good droid. Yeah. So, open it Not right up. Droids. Not the bad droids. No. We got the patch and the pin. Who is on the patch? The patch features C3PO with a little R2-D2. Like, sh accent? Yeah, yeah, the shadow. <laughs> Almost like a hologram, but that doesn't really make sense. I feel like they've got to go together. But they gotta. They gotta. They're BFFs. There is some nice like gold. It's not yeah. just like a yellow, like deep yellow. No, there's or some gold exactly. accents to it. It's Give really him cool. Some depth to his face. Simply magnificent. Right? It is. And then on the pin, you have a battle droid from the Clone Wars. The uh, Roger Roger guy. You probably know him best uh, as that. But um, really cool pin. Nice to see that we're going back to the prequels a little bit here. Yes. As we talked about, there's, I mean, two pops and a t-shirt. Two pops and a shirt. So we'll and go right it's into a the great shirt. I'm gonna tear right into it. Me too. Unsurprisingly, has droids on it, but it's from a really cool scene from Episode Seven. R2 and BB-8. After they making their the little map little here, map you can put together. yours up. We don't need to compete. <laughs> <laughs> Just cover me with the t-shirt. <laughs> covered both of us, to be honest. <laughs> um, it's a really cool shirt, though. You get two of everyone's favorite droids. Such and a big an moment. iconic moment, yeah. yeah. Um, and then uh, we one of the pops we showed before, okay. it's the unfinished C-3PO pop, it which is really cool. so much fun detail This in is it. one you gotta take out of the box. I know I preach this a lot, but that's exactly what I was about to say. Yep. It's what you've See? got to take out of this. Great minds. Yep. I do want to, I always forget to show the box, so I'm going to show that real quick. It just shows, ooh. Ooh. You better look fast. Yeah, seriously. We're going to re reveal it in a minute. So cool. And it's not just like the exposed wire on the front, it also shows in the back. And too. it's not like, just painted on there. It's, no, it's the mold. Yes. The mold is really detailed, and the paint, too, is very. Um, detailed too but I mean it's just it's a really well executed pop and yeah. I think it's one that we couldn't have done like years ago no like years could... ago it would have just been a paint job I believe yeah right now. and even then it probably wouldn't look as sharp let me go ahead and gently place this on the ground really cool pop yeah iconic droid um, which leaves one more pop in this box yes and this is more one for the, you bigger Star Wars fans, probably. Yeah. Fill, like, filling in the gaps of your character lineups. It is R5-D4. Good old R5. AKA Red. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about this R5-D4. If you can't qu quite figure out where he came from, he was in the original Star Wars movie, A New Hope. He made his debut in the scene where the Skywalkers were purchasing the droids from the Jawas. He was originally selected for purchase along with C-3PO. Which, could you imagine if the movies had continued on like that? Yes, that would be weird. Wouldn't have made sense. But instead, he somehow got sabotaged and R2-D2 got selected instead. I think you had a, you have a point though, like, he got sabotaged, but how do you know it's by R2? Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. Might have to rewatch and see if there Definitely. Are clues. But, R5-D4, so you get like, Great. Fan favorite, yep. really well known, kind of a cooler, more obscure character to some. Yep, awesome. So that's a fun way to do it, I think, in this box. We got something for everyone. Totally. Um, with that awesome shirt, too. Yes. So, got the cool t shirt, got both of these pops, cool patch and pin yep. right there. And we can talk a little bit about the theme for the next box, which is going to be Jedi. Jedi. So start speculating now what you think will be in that box. Comment below and let us know what you think will be in there. Thank you guys for watching the unboxing. And we don't know what could have been. We don't we'll know what could have been. What if he turned evil one like towards, greatest, the, towards the end? One of the greatest mysteries of the Star Wars universe. What could have been. Make sure to subscribe, comment, like. As always, don't forget to keep popping. Order your next box at smugglersbounty.com.